Hello, so one of the questions that I get asked all the time about my beautiful stride bike is now that I've put it together, how do I set it up for actually riding? What is the proper like form? How should you be set up to ride comfortably, smart, not have knee problems, not have back problems, all of those things. So I have learned from one of the great stride instructors, Lexi King, she has sent a video out to a lot of uh, the stride family that helps us set up and I'm gonna take her advice and kind of walk you through the steps that Lexi taught me and go from there. So one of the things that we wanna work on doing first is getting our seat set to the right height. So I'm gonna head over to the bike and show you how to do it. So you're gonna to wanna to stand next to your seat and kind of find your natural hip so not like where you keep your pants, not way up here if you're high-waisted or low-waisted, kind of where your natural hip is. And you're gonna raise that seat up. It should be loosened before you do that, obviously, here. And you're gonna raise it up to that hip height. Once you get it there, you're gonna tighten it into place. Make sure that you tighten it really good. You don't want the, hip, the seat sliding down. Use those muscles. Get it nice and locked. In. So I wanted to show you up close here, excuse my workout room mess going on back here, but if you look at the numbers here on the bike, you should remember kind of where it sits once you've got it set. So if you share the bike with other people, you know exactly how to get to that point. I'm at about five and a half right here. You want to remember that when you're tightening it. Also, as you're tightening, make sure you're holding the seat up so you're not losing that height. If, you're, if you just let it go, it'll just drop down. So now that you have your seat adjusted to the right height, make sure before you ride that you always tighten it one more time just to check to make sure that we're all good and everything's steady. So you tighten, tighten it one more time, but now you wanna know the distance between where your seat should be to your handlebars. So the way that we do that is we're gonna just take our elbow, I have really long arms, so to the front of your seat and your fingers should be touching your handlebar. So my seat is a little bit too far back, so I'm gonna make an adjustment there. So I will take, on this side of the bike, there is another one of these tighteners. I'm gonna take, take that one, I'm gonna loosen it up here. I'm gonna pull my seat forward till I'm about here. See how we're lined up? And then I'm gonna tighten that into place. Now I'm gonna show you an up close of this real quickly. So as you look right here, this thing can kind of be in the way if it's adjusted the wrong way. So one thing that you can do is you can pull this out and it moves out of your way, wherever you want it to go without actually loosening where the seat is. So I like to keep mine kind of down and out of the way. For me, that's what works, but you gotta figure out what works for you. Now, one thing you can notice here too is we've got also got numbers. We've also got also got numbers here. So I'm a little bit over four here and it will help me remember in case I want to share. Thankfully, I don't have to share with anybody, but <laughs> um, in case my family decides they ever want to get into spin, this is a good option to remember this. Now, the last thing we want to talk about before we actually get on the bike is how high these handlebars need to be. And from my understanding is handlebar height is completely dependent on your preference. Um, back strength, core strength, all of that is going to affect what you feel most comfortable with. If you feel like leaning forward is a little too hard on your back, you can pull these handles up a little bit higher. If you feel like you want to kind of pull and activate the core more, you can kind of drop the handle bars a little bit further down, but you do need to make sure that you are keeping that core stable if you're going to drop the handlebars down a little bit further so you aren't causing any extra strain on your back. So mine is dropped all the way down right now because I've loosened it, so it's fallen down, but I'm going to pull it up a little bit higher because you want to make sure that these handlebars are there as just kind of like a way to steady yourself. You're not going to want to be putting a lot of weight forward on these handlebars. You want to be using the bike and the muscle and the core as much as possible, the minute you start to use this as too much of a, um, a crutch, you are losing all of that core strength of the workout and you're also losing the back strength in the workout. So we want to make sure that this is high enough that you're only using it as a way to kind of like stabilize yourself. 
So I've already loosened it again. It's dropped lower, but I want to pull it up a little bit. So I'm going to pull it. It's heavier because this is where the monitor sits. So you have to make sure that you really, really use your strength there and hold it in place. Same with all of these. You want to hold them in place as you are tightening and you want to really make sure this is tightened because this is where your monitor is and you want to make sure that you don't lose any of that and have your monitor drop in the middle of your workout. So once you have all of that set and in place, it is then your decision whether or not you're going to use the clip side, which is what I have learned I prefer because it's a more full leg workout. I feel like you're definitely working all of the muscles in your legs. I felt like when I was using the cages, I was using more of the push and less of the pull, but it's totally up to you. I have these TMs that I freaking love um, and would highly recommend. And I have my clips here. And the way that you're gonna use these clips, I have another video that kind of tells you uh, more detail on this, but, um, and I'll link that below. So you have the top clip. This kind of pushes into right here on the pedal. You kind of slide it into there and then you step down and it should snap right in. And you're gonna do that on both sides. And once it's snapped in on both sides, you are ready to go. But today I'm going to use the cages because I'm gonna be jumping on and off the bike to kind of show you the rest of how to set this bike up. So once you get on the bike, which is what I'm gonna do now, Again, using the cages with bulky shoes, so this is gonna make it harder. You wanna check for two things when you pedal. So if you're pedaling and you're scrunching and your knee is coming up a little too high, then you know that your seat needs to be raised a little bit. And as, as you reach the bottom of the pedal, if your leg is completely straight, then you know that you are too high. So you kind of want a little bit of bend at the bottom as you go. So you're not, you don't want to be like this. You want to be like this. So when you do go to ride out of the saddle, you have that to go to. I actually think that my seat might be a little hair too high right now. So I'm going to drop it just a little bit because I want a little more bend in my knee when I hit the bottom of that pedal. So I'm going to adjust that now. If you're riding and your knees are always going really far over your toes as you're pedaling, really far over your toes. That's another thing that you want to be kind of aware of. That might mean that you're a little too close and you kind of need to pull your seat back. I have horrible posture right now. I'm using way too much of my body on my handlebars. So I might need to adjust my handlebars up just a little bit more or just be better about not using the handlebars as so much support. So as you can see, once you get on the bike, you can adjust for comfort. You kind of want to be aware, like, did my knees bother me a little bit too much? Then maybe my seat is a little too low, or maybe my seat uh, is a little too far forward or too far back. You want to make those adjustments. Did my back hurt? Maybe I need to raise my handlebars. Maybe I need to drop my handlebars. None of this is set in stone. You can get on the bike and make adjustments however you want once you get on the bike. For comfort, you want to make sure that this ride is going to be the best ride, and I guarantee you that you're gonna feel like you're getting the best workout every single time you do one of these stride rides. The instructors are awesome, they're so helpful. We have a great community, community online that you can check out and the instructors are there and listening. Thank you, Stride. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. Thank you, Stride, for being awesome and being so easy to work with. Again, this bike is awesome because it is the unlocked Peloton in the sense that you can use this screen for anything. The screen is awesome and I'm going to link below a bunch of our favorite apps that you can download. I watch Hulu, I watch Netflix, I watch YouTube. Sometimes I'll do YouTube workouts. I love, love, love the Stride instructors. I love their heart, I love their soul, so I love to work out with them. I would love, I love to use this for anything, again, you can connect at other fitness apps to it. It's just an open, unlocked, awesome, beautiful, sturdy bike. If you have questions for me, please ask in the comments below. I am here for you. I appreciate you guys. If you like what you saw here, please like, comment, subscribe, and I hope that you have a great day. Bye.